Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I did this Von Glitter blue bronze look using some new products that I got this week at Ulta. Um, for the majority of the eye look, I used the second half of the Mitchell palette. Um, stay tuned to check that out and don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, so I'm going to go with in with, this is a funny name, meh. So we're going to do that one, and I'm going to use the Jaclyn JH34 brush. I'm just going to pack this. This palette is very powdery, so be careful. I already primed my lids as well. I used the MAC Paint Pot, and... Yeah, Ooh, this is a pretty color. So basically gonna just take this all over the lids as my transition shade. David moved the mic closer to me and I'm still not talking loud enough, but at least hopefully we won't hear the crazy static from the last video. And if you do, I'm sorry, but we're working on that. <laughs> So I'm still going in with my <laughs> Just blending away. All right, so the next shade I'm gonna go in with is Maine. This is pretty rich chocolate brown. And I'm gonna use the Morphe M514 brush. Kind of pack that on there. Very pretty. Whoa. <laughs> that is intense. So go a little bit lower than the transition shade, keep it in the crease and just back and forth. Keep moving the brush and blend as much as you can. This color is so pretty. Of course too, I'm packing a lot on so you don't have to, you can go in with a much lighter hand and it won't kind of give you such a deep dramatic effect, but I like to really be a bit bolder with it. Just know if you're packing it on like this, you really gotta blend it out. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the first brush JH34 and go back into meh. <laughs> I feel like I have to say it like that. Um, and just lightly kind of go over top of the shade I just did. Make it a little bit softer. You don't want a lot of product on your brush. This is really just to blend that transition back into that crease color. If you pack a lot of product on, you're going to get super dark up in here. And we don't want to get dark. We want to just blend it all together so it's not so, I don't know if you can see it, but so it's not so harsh. I have like no eyelid and more of like the brow lid, basically, I guess you would say. So you don't really see my crease unless I'm like squinting. 
So now basically I didn't add any more product. I'm still just kind of using that transition brush and blending it all in together. Okay, because I'm a freak, now what I do is I go back in with the crease. I'm going to go back into main very lightly. I'm not trying to add a lot more. I'm just really going to define lower. Very light hand, less intense, and just go in a bit lower. Make sure the outer edge has enough product there. I'm leaving my lids free because I'm going to pick one of those glitter toppers, throw that on there. You could put a shadow down and then top it after, but I think I'm just gonna kind of leave it bare. I'm kind of leaning more towards that blue color. Lastly, this brush again, not tapping into the product up higher. I'm just really going to blend it one last time. Very light hand, not a lot of pressure and boom. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I almost want to make it just slightly more intense. So I think I might pack into, I'm going to use this brush. This is actually a Luxie 231 brush. I really like this. I got it in like a, I think a, Boxy charm or something a long time ago. Um, I'm gonna go in with Mafia the black color very lightly. That color comes off wild. Okay, let me just show you guys. So like just a couple, where's my face? A couple taps. It's very intense. So be careful with that. I'm just gonna kinda pat and stamp it on the outer edge just to deepen it up a little. I'm keeping this really close to my lash line and on my lid. I don't want to go over and take over that rich brown color. Just deepen the outer edge. I'm tapping a lot of it off. I'm not really seeing it fall on my face, so that's good. I'm just kind of like sweeping it around here, keeping it just on this outer edge. I'll go back in with that crease brush, the M514, with that rich darker brown shade. And basically now we're going to marry these two together. Super light hand, you don't want to really drag that black around. Kind of want to make it seamless so you don't really see the line of black in the brown. All right, I could sit here and blend for days, so I'm going to stop. Um, I think now I can't decide. I almost might try both. I don't know. I'm leaning. To, I'm leaning more towards this color. Let's get this cute little twist off. So this is like really dry kind of glitter. Oh, all right. So it's not really what I was thinking, but we can make this work. So like it doesn't really like swatch. It literally is meant to just kind of pack on and top. So I'm going to actually put something down on my lid first, and then we'll literally just pack some of that on. God, it's so pretty. 
Yeah, these are like dry. They feel nice for what they are, but they are like a press glitter. So they're really dry. They look pretty. So what I'm going to do first before we do that, I think I might take this shade Master, this corner one. Here's my finger, I guess. It's like pretty bronze. Just pat that on the lid first. I think if I just went in with that glitter topper, I don't think I'd get like full coverage and I feel like you would see my lid. If that makes sense. If that makes sense to you. So I'm just using my finger. I'm trying to stay away from the black though, really keeping, I was just talking with my hand over my mouth, patting this on, but not getting it to the black. Cause after we're gonna, again, blend and kind of make it all seamless. I have nails, so I can't really get in that corner. I know my hands are freezing. Okay. I actually have it all here. This is perfect. What brush? Ooh, I'll use this guy. All right, so this is the JH42. It's this little flat guy. So I'm gonna do that, just like a spray. I'm gonna go back in with that master bronze shade and hit this corner. If you don't have nails, you could do this with your finger. I think it comes off so much nicer when you use your finger, but I can't reach. So all right, that's good. So now now, 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 I think I'm going to go in with the bronzy one. And it's not exactly the same color as what I put on my lids, but it's fine. See what happens. I don't know if you can hear the wind, but it's really windy today. All right, so I'm using the same brush. Just sprayed it again. It's picking up nice. So instead of like a swiping motion, I'm literally just patting it on. And it's actually sticking really nice. It's so interesting. I can't tell if it's like kind of like a sticky jelly substance underneath it, but it comes off really nice on the brush. I was actually kind of shocked. Very pretty. I feel like I want to try putting the blue on as well. Let's take the blue. Let me just kind of down the center. I'm getting a little crazy now. We'll just do a little bit of this. <laughs> I'm patting like in between the black and that first glitter, kind of mixing it in. Looks cool. Okay. Before I get carried away. Now let's go back in with this 231 brush. Dip back into the black very lightly. I just want to kind of pat back in there again and blend so it's not glitter black. Kind of just make it look a little more seamless together. Okay, cool. I'm gonna put mascara and lashes on and then uh, we'll kind of jump back in at the end. All right, so I went in with the Allure from Gildan. 
They're very pretty. A little long, but very like fluffy and flirty. So that's cute. I wanted to let you guys know what I put on my lips. I'm not a huge lips person. So since starting YouTube and doing all this, I realized after the first few videos, I didn't have anything on my lips because I'll do that. Um, but I realized I need to start putting stuff on my lips because they just look dry and crusty and that's gross. So I did Celebrity Skin Lip Liner again. This is like my favorite color. Um, I don't have a ton of lip liners and stuff like that because I don't do it personally. I have it for when I do um, do it for other people when I do their makeups. Makeup. <laughs> makeups. Um, and then I did the Jeffree Star mannequin. And then I just got this this week as well. It's the Revlon. It's just like a lip gloss and it's in super natural. It's very pretty. This pretty little, I don't know, pinky nude color. Kind of see the difference between the two if I showed you it correctly. So I don't know. They complement each other. So that's what I put on my lips. Um, now I'm going to go in, we're going to do the lower lash line and I'm really feeling like I like that I tied the blue in just a little bit but now I'm torn with which blue like I want to do blue underneath I might go in with um moody Mitch this like kind of navy blue color and just drag that in the bottom um I will use this Jaclyn Hill JH30H it's a little dirty already but it's got like a blue color on it so it's Nice little packer, smudger, brush. Mm, that's pretty. I don't think you'd be able to see the color, but it's a nice, pretty blue. Nothing crazy. I love this palette. It's literally just comes out. Perfect little mirror. So I like to go super tight on the lash line and then I'll take kind of the same brush, wipe, kind of wipe the product off and then I'll come a bit lower and just blend. I don't want to keep adding more product. I don't want to smoke it out a bit. I think I'm going to go in with the very first shade I'll show it to you guys Meh. <laughs> same brush I'm gonna kind of go underneath the blue give it a little bit of warmth to it very subtle touch it's nothing crazy but Okay, cool. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay 24-7 Eye Pencil in Zero. It's just super black. Do this sounds kind of hard to do. I also took this and put it all up under here before I put my lashes on. I'm obsessed with this shade. It's Wet and Wild. Oh my gosh. Wet and Wild Creme Brulee. I probably have like seven of these. This kind of this brush. Wow, I've used it so much. The name came off. It's a Morphe brush. But I basically like do this every single day and take the shade and run it all over my lid, but when I'm actually putting shadow on, I finish the bottom kind of in here a bit, blend it out. I'll finish the top of my brow. I'm a soupy, soupy. <laughs> I'm a super oily person. So I don't ever really put like a highlight on my brow bone and any of that stuff. It doesn't usually work for me. I have to go around my nose with it. 
some mascara on the bottom. I feel like I'm staring into my soul in this mirror while I do this. <laughs> All right, so that's it for today's look. Hope you guys um, enjoyed it. Um, I'm getting a lot of good use out of this palette. It is a really good palette. Um, I've never tried these lashes before, but I definitely am into these. And I do suggest, these were $5 each. I suggest like if you guys are into glitter, like these are super pretty. So got a few things to try this week. I'm glad I did. Um, yeah, so David and I have been talking. I've been wanting to do his makeup for a really long time because he just has beautiful blue eyes and the perfect eyelids. Um, and of course, he never lets me. So we've decided if we hit 100 subscribers, we're doing a video. I'm doing his makeup. I'm putting lashes on him. He doesn't seem too thrilled, but I'm excited for it. And I think it'd be fun for you guys to kind of see how the journey goes and see how long it takes to get to hundred subscribers. Um, that could be in a while or it could be tomorrow. So we'll see. Um, but thank you so much for supporting us in all this crazy world when um, hopefully the mic sounds good this time. We have it actually right above my head. So hopefully you don't hear any static or crazy stuff like that. But um, keep giving me your feedback. The more I do this, the more comfortable I get. And I hope you guys are inspired by looks that I can do and share with me what you guys want to see me do. Um, I love makeup and I love putting it on. Um, so yeah. Bye guys.